Hello everyone, this is Yopal Nora and in this video I will be teaching you a trick to remember this table. This table represents the properties of images found by the concave spherical mirror and in order to remember this table, all you have to do is remember this graph. If you know the meaning of the profile of this graph, then you can easily create this table also. So this graph is divided into four parts. One above this horizontal dividing line and one to the left and right of this vertically bifurcating line. So this horizontal line is known as the principal axis of the mirror. So everything above this line will represent the object and everything below this line will represent the image. And the vertical bifurcating line divides this uh, graph into two areas which is the real side and the virtual side. Every image in the uh, formed in the real side will always be real and we also know that real images are always inverted. Inverted means in the opposite direction to that of the object. If the object is upright then the images will be downward facing and if the images are formed to the right of this graph then it will be a virtual image and virtual images we already know that those are upright images. So before starting with this graph I will have to teach you the basics of the optical reflection by the spherical mirrors. So let's get started. Let's start with the basics of the reflection of spherical mirrors. So every concave spherical mirror has a principal axis and along the principal axis the center of the mirror is called pole of the mirror. This point is called the F focus of the principal focus of the mirror. This is the center of curvature, center of curvature of the surface of the spherical mirror. And then we have the point of infinity if the object is at infinity. So infinity C, F and P. Because it is a mirror then the points will get reflected. So this will become F, F, F. C and infinity. This will be infinity. So we know that uh, if the image is formed in front of the mirror then it is real. If the image is formed behind the mirror it is called virtual. And virtual images are always upright and real images are always inverted. So this much we know. And we have to specify for every every image we have to specify some properties. So for images, we have four properties. Image properties, there are four properties to be specified. Those four properties are position. Position means uh, where is the object placed. Is the object placed at C? Is the object placed between C and F? And so on. Second uh, property is orientation. Orientation. Or by orientation I mean uh, is the image is the image upright or is the mirror in uh, image inverted next property of the image is size if the object is of the same size as that of the object if the image is of same size as that of object then it is called same size same size if it is bigger it is called enlarged if it is smaller it is called diminished then the last property is called type of the image by type I mean real or inverted if it is uh, in front if it is formed in front of the mirror in front it is called real if it is found behind the mirror behind it will be virtual so this is it for the basics that we need now let us start looking at the graph that we have. Our graph consists of three lines. The top line is called the object line. The second line is the object position line. Third line is the image position line. So if you look at our principal axis then x and x dash will be our principal axis. So this point will be, will be infinity. The first point is infinity as we can see. Second point will be center of curvature. Third point will be part of focus fourth part will be the pole of the mirror and behind the mirror again we will get one focus point that is virtual focus point f dash next will be c dash next will be infinity dash hmm? f, f c and infinity these are all just for the images position of the images where the image will be formed so what we will do is we will take these three points and we will bring them here we will transfer these three points in the same order to the bottom line image position line so this will become f this will become c and this will become infinity 
hmm? and our graph is graph we had seen this graph has this profile so from infinity if the object is at infinity then the size of the image is zero then from zero if the object is at c if the object is brought from infinity towards the c then the uh, size of the image keeps on increasing increasing and when it is at c then the size of the object becomes exactly equal to the size of the image then the size of the image keeps on increasing up till the maximum value if the uh, when the image is formed at infinity at infinity this is the maximum size of the image then after that it will keep on decreasing again so it keeps on increasing increasing then it reaches maximum point and then it starts decreasing back so at infinity so this is our graph everything above this line will be object related to object everything below this line will be related to image so first our case is if the object is at infinity if the object is at infinity this is case one if the object is at infinity if the object is placed here let us consider that the object height is of two lines so image image height is nothing below this line there is no height therefore it is zero so the uh, in the image properties we will write first column is position p for image properties we can remember it as p o s t p for position o for orientation s for orientation s for size and t for type so position at when the object is at infinity then the position of the image will be position of the image image position is at f if object is at infinity image is being formed at f at f orientation orientation is below the line image is being formed below the line below the line means it is inverted inverted direction in inverted next size size of the image is point size there is no size therefore point size or highly diminished point sized or highly diminished we can write type type of the image is uh, this line this line is the at the infinity when the image is at infinity this vertical line becomes our dividing line so this line divides our graph into two regions this is the uh, real region this is the virtual region so if the image is being formed to the left it will be real and real images are always inverted and virtual images are always upright so it is it is being formed to the left of this line therefore it is real type of the image when object is at infinity is real so we'll get this if the object is next case is if the object is beyond c after c after c means between infinity and c if object is placed here if the object is placed between c and infinity that means beyond c beyond c then the position of the image formed will be here image will be formed here up till this graph line so image is formed of this size so what we get is when the object is at beyond in ac then the image is being formed here at this point this point lies between c and f therefore position of the image will be between c and f and the orientation will be inverted this is inverted because it is in the real side it is inverted therefore in inverted type is real because it is on the left side of this line then size is diminished we can see that height is this much object height is this much image height is only single line therefore it is diminished diminished next next case is when the object is at c when the object is at c we have already seen then when the object is at c then the image size will be of the equal size same height same height of the same as that of the height of the object therefore uh, position of the image will be image properties position of the image position of the object is object position is at c image position is also at c therefore at c orientation is inverted inverted next size is exactly the same size therefore same size same size type is real because it lies this image is on the left side therefore it is real 
नेक्स्ट केस इज वन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस बिटवीन सी एंड एफ इफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस्ड बिटवीन सी एंड एफ देन द पोजिशन ऑफ द इमेज विल बी हियर इट विल बी बिटवीन सी एंड इन्फिनिटी वी आर ऑलरेडी नो दैट बिटवीन सी एंड इन्फिनिटी इज कॉल्ड बियॉन्ड सी देर फॉर वील राइट बियॉन्ड सी बियॉन्ड सी द इमेज इज इन्वर्टेड देर फॉर इन वर्टेड टाइप इज इट इज ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ दिस डिवाइडिंग लाइन देर फॉर इट इज रियल साइज इज एनलार्ज वी कैन सी दैट ऑब्जेक्ट साइज इज ओनली दिस मच ओनली दिस मच टू लाइन्स इमेज साइज इज एनलार्ज देर फॉर एन लार्ज नेक्स्ट केस इज वन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस एट फोकल पॉइंट एफ एट एफ वन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस एट एफ देन द इमेज विल बी फॉर्म्ड हियर एंड इमेज इज बींग फॉर्म एट इन्फिनिटी वेन इट इज एट एफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज एट प्लेस एट एफ देन द इमेज विल बी एट इन्फिनिटी देर फोर इट विल बी फॉर्म एट इन्फिनिटी एंड वी कैन सी दैट इट हेज रीड द मैक्सिमम पॉइंट देर फोर इट इज हाईली एंड लार्ज हाईली enlarged it is in the real side therefore it is inverted inverted and it is real next when the object is placed between f and p if the object is placed between f and p then the image formed will be here but we can see that it is to the right right side of this bifurcating line therefore it is virtual virtual means it is also upright therefore image formed will be from here till here image is upright mm. if the object is between f and p then the image is being formed after infinity after infinity there can be no point therefore it is behind the mirror virtual images are always formed behind the mirror so be behind the mirror orientation is upright because it is virtual therefore it is upright upright and type is virtual size is highly enlarged or enlarged this one is highly enlarged this one is enlarged and large this much is the graph in exam during exam what we can do is we can form this line this will be our object we can write infinity c f p then we will repeat f c and infinity we will bring these three points here on the bottom line below infinity we will write f then we will transfer c then we will transfer infinity and our graph we know that our graph starts from zero reaches equal height then reaches maximum height then keeps on decreasing again at infinity we can see that size of the image is zero therefore it is point size it lies this is the maximum point therefore this is the real side this is the virtual side the bi uh, bifurcating line this vertical bifurcating line is always passes through infinity therefore this is our limiting boundary line therefore if the object is here then the size is zero point size it is inverted inverted it is on the real side therefore it is real and the position of the image is at f at f beyond c if the object is here then the image will be here it is we can see that size is reduced therefore diminished it is being formed between f and c between f and c it is inverted inverted and real on the real side when the object is placed uh, placed at c then it will be here of the same size two lines upside is the object two times downward side it is image therefore it is of the same size same size it is inverted it is on the real side therefore real it is being formed at c itself when the object is at c object at c then image is also at c next when the image is object is placed between c and f between c and f image formed will be beyond c beyond c between c and infinity means beyond c it is inverted inverted we can see that object size is only this much but image size is this much extra therefore it is enlarged this much enlarged object is only this much only two lines this one is enlarged so enlarged it is on the real side therefore real inverted next when the object is placed at f then it will be formed at infinity image will be formed at infinity it is inverted it is highly enlarged because it is being formed at infinity that means it is it has reached the maximum point therefore it is highly enlarged and it is real
next final case is when the object is placed between F and P. When the object is here, image formed will be here, but it is on the virtual side. Therefore, we will not point it downward. It uh, it will be upright. Therefore, virtual images are always upright. So therefore, we will write virtual upright. We can see that object size is only this much. This is being enlarged here. Therefore, enlarged. Hmm? Enlarged. This is the maximum point. This is reducing again. Therefore, it cannot be highly enlarged. It will be again enlarged. Enlarged. Point size diminished. Same size enlarged. Highly enlarged. Then again it will decrease to enlarged. This much. If you remember this graph and these two lines hmm? and the naming infinity C F P and F C P. F C P. If you bring it here and if you remember this curve, then you can form this table easily. I hope this video helped you.